day two of uh, the big big bait challenge. I'm out here with my cousin this time. She's doing some big bait challenge too. Um, it's about what? What time is it you think? Um, about 9.30 or something. See if we can get a big fish off this big bait. Throw it back out. Oh, it's a lot clearer than it was the other day. Yes, it was raining, cold, whatever. Um, raining, cold, like I said, windy today. It's very clear, calm. So hopefully we get something. If not, we're gonna keep doing it. Day two. Toss it over here in the shade area. See if we can get something, something. Maybe a big bass is sitting over there. <coughs> it actually swims on its side, I notice. So, I mean, that's gonna be another positive thing with this. If it's swimming on its side, the bass gonna think it's injured. And they're gonna attack it. And it also has like these like shiny, like sparkles on it. Which is also a plus because that will also attract the fish. I'm gonna switch over to this pond. This is a lot clearer than another one. Maybe there's a big monster in here. The only thing that's gonna hit this is over three pounds in my opinion. How's a Tommy Walker throw? See how it swims? Is that, do you think it looks like a real fish? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go over here and throw it over in the edge. The water's clear over here too. Just a matter of getting lucky. Oh, these big, there's big carp over here. They go out there, but I don't know. Let's see. See those big carp over there? Freak. That was a bad cast. Throw it out in the middle way over here. I know someone caught a four pounder over by the park the other day. I'm pretty sure those will hit, but I know there's 10 pounders in here, like I've been saying. Cash really far. I'm mean, gonna get really lucky to get something off this. I might be doing this the whole summer. Let's try to get on the other side. <laughs> Oh crap, I cast it too far over there. Wanna have something? No, no. 
Feels like a stick. Yep. Stick. Then we'll go back to um, park out there for more casts and we'll go home. <laughs> I know this thing will work. I've seen people catch it on like the internet all the time. But there's like really, really big fish. You think a big fish is gonna eat this? Mm -hmm. I don't want those little small ones. I mean, it casts really far, doesn't it? Like the ducks, you think a bass is sitting over there in the shade? Yeah, that was an arrow thing, I was probably rolling in too fast, I'm gonna slow it down. Where do you want it at? Throw it at? Like over here, like that. Like that? Just makes such a big splash that I think it scares the fish away. Probably doing pretty slow reeling. See if these fish want it. I know like a five, if there's a five pounder near it, it's gonna, I'm telling you, it's gonna go after it. Cause there's shad, I've been saying there's shad in here the size of this bait. And I know some bass in here eat that. All right, everyone, uh, that was just part two of the big bait challenge. Um, unfortunately, we didn't catch anything, but we're not going to. Never give up. Yeah, we're, like you said, we're <laughs> not going to give up. Um, it's probably going to take like six or seven days to do that because that bait's so big. But um, I'm trying to make like three or four, like two or three more episodes of that. Just depends if I catch a fish or not. Um, if it starts getting hectic and I'm not catching the fish, they're going to go to a different pond. But my main goal is to stay there. Um, so stay tuned to the next episode. I'll probably film like um, two or more, three different episodes. And I'll go back to that. But make sure you uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel so you can uh, keep up with the Big Bait series. But um, like this video and comment below and tell me if you liked it or not. And once again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always... Catch big fish. Have a good day. We